were off a couple days late yep. last week, and it was cold on a couple it of those was. mornings. Yeah. You know, we uh, hit 32 degrees on Thursday morning, and we were awfully close once again on Friday morning. We've come a long ways yep. since then. Back to springtime. Yesterday was just delightful. It was right nice. around 70 degrees out there. I just wanted to share this photo with you. We talked about this last week, but uh, you know, we've got this white-winged dove. You can see her right there in the middle of the screen, just kind of like a little head sticking up there between some of the leaves. But yeah, she's still sitting on still those eggs. Cooking? Still cooking. We're calling. Oh, I like got the, about. Uh, I like the caption there. Probably about two weeks to go here, hopefully, before nice. we've got some baby birds chirping there oh. on the front lawn. Uh, interesting to note here, too, on the drought watch, we really did start off 2015 on a pretty positive note. And, you know, from an overall yearly standpoint, the rainfall deficit isn't that large. It is approaching one half inch, but we haven't had a drop in the rain gauge just to trace so far this month, and we only had a .11 in March. So you have to go all the way back to our big snowstorm the last day of February to really find a significant precipitation event for most of us. So it's drying out pretty quick out there. A couple spots of showers here were focused on, well, northern Sandoval and southern Rio Ariba County for just some sprinkles and maybe a couple of flakes falling on top of the Sangre de Cristos. A weak weather system is going to scoot across the northern third of New Mexico, putting thunder shower chances back into play. The rest of us probably dry. 49 right now at the Sunport, upper 30, Santa Fe and Berlin. Grand so it's cold this morning at 24. We've got uh, Angel Fire there at 22 degrees, southern New Mexico. As cold as 41 for Silver City and Rudo, so Alamogordo, though, 54 degrees this hour. You've got a 12 mile per hour breeze. Winds blowing right now. 10 for both Grants and the Albuquerque Sunport. Pretty friendly start in the wind department. By afternoon, though, we do see the breezes kicking back up uh, out of the west. 10 to 15 gusts, 20 plus. Now in the vicinity of any of those thunder showers that break out up there this afternoon, there will be some stronger winds. The best chance of seeing that though is going to be across north central and northeastern New Mexico, probably just north of the Albuquerque metro. After one impulse rides this northwesterly flow aloft, we have a couple of super quiet days for Wednesday or. Tuesday, rather, and Wednesday, and then maybe a stronger storm coming in off the Pacific with the gusty winds and the blowing dust. That'll be a Thursday, Friday deal. Today's thunder shower chances. This will be those dry, evaporating storms here in the southern part of New Mexico. There will be some wetting rains from about Taos up towards Raton and over towards Clayton, probably staying just to the north of Santa Fe and across southwestern Colorado. There will be some rain and high mountain snows. We look ahead towards our Tuesday. It's probably just going to be some cloud cover swelling up during the afternoon. Maybe a couple of dry, gusty thunder showers, but for the most part, Tomorrow, quieter day than today. Temperatures southeast New Mexico with dry skies. We're talking upper 70s. Alamogordo, you're going to hit 78 degrees. We're checking on the south and west. A couple of those high terrain, gusty thunder showers can't be ruled out. They'll be the dry storms. We're expecting about 75 in Silver City. Everybody else is upper 70s, low 80s. Northwest New Mexico, thinking you're set to stay dry. Temperatures low 70s this afternoon. Really pretty pleasant stuff on the thermometer. North Central Mountain Cities, looks like 60s for Santa Fe, Los Alamos, and Taos. And we're thinking Taos points to the north up towards Red River. There probably will be a couple of thunder showers that throw down the rain this afternoon. And we've got Raton and Vegas in the wind gust uh, potential area here, along with the chance for some scattered storms this afternoon. Edgewood Moriarty, close to 70 degrees with Dry skies, and for the Albuquerque Metro, we'll be in the low 70s, a few warmer than yesterday, and a couple above average for this time of the year. Here's a look at the seven day forecast. Really looking pretty good through Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. There will be the windy thunder showers out there. And then we look ahead towards the weekend. Skies probably dry back out. Pretty good looking round of temperatures this week, too, just about every day in the 70s. Pollen count numbers here. Losing the highs, but lots of lows and moderates. Perhaps we are past the peak of the pollen season, but boy, there still is a lot of garbage in the air. Todd, Marissa. Thank you.